Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your March 2018 reading for you. All right. In order to keep these readings free, please subscribe to the link below. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you would like a private reading, please click on the link below. Also, give the videos a thumbs up if you like them. All right. I've already shuffled the cards and meditated on them. Oh, I love it. And we are going to see what the month of March holds for you, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And it starts with the Wish card. I'm so excited to see how this unfolds. Here we are. All right, give me a moment to look things over. <laughs> We're going to see what March has in store for you. Oh, well, this is really lovely. Okay. All right, Capricorn. March, right here, we have the star card, the wish card. You get what you wish for because you know all the hard work. You have put in hard work. You know the effort and the sacrifices that you have put in in order to follow your dreams, in order to follow what it is you most desire in life. And because of that, you are getting your wish, you are getting that desire, you are moving forward in a way um, that is absolutely prosperous for you, okay? Because you have put your heart and soul into that wish that is being sent out on that little bird right there and being seen by that star. So know that what you desire is being heard by the universe, God, source, spirit, however you see the divine, and you are achieving what it is that your heart desires, okay? Also here, with the Six of Pentacles, this is telling me to be prudent with your time, because time is worth its weight in gold, okay? And you have to know what it is that you want to do, where it is that you want to go, and how much time and effort to invest in order to achieve your dreams. Okay, so don't put all your time and energy into work and neglect your family. Don't put all your time and energy into family and neglect your work. You need to find that perfect balance. That's why she has the scales there. And it's weighing out what she gives to each child in order, if you can see that, the scales here, what she's giving to each child in order to make sure that she has enough to go around. This isn't being stingy. This is being prudent. Okay? And with some of you... Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is all about love. We have so many cups here. Well, we have a bunch of cups here. So this is about love. This is the Page of Cups. He is standing on that stone. The sea is raging around him, but he's calm and he's steady and he's purposeful. He has healing. He's cloaked in healing, in purity, in wisdom with the blue. This fish there is just jumping into his cup. He didn't even need to go fishing for it. So while the world might be crazy around you, while you might be sitting there and trying to find out which way to go and what you desire most and really working things out in March, you're going to find an inner peace. This is with the temperance card here. An inner peace, an inner balance, and you're going to go even deeper. So while the world is raging around you, you're going to calmly go and find your balance. Okay? Again, this is because... You're being prudent with your time, and you're really focusing on your heart's desire. All right? You're going deeper into love. You're going deeper into life. You're really focusing on what it is that you want. Again, this isn't selfish. This is being practical and putting your best foot forward. For some of you, you're going to find love when you least expect it, okay? Or you're going to be moving forward towards what you love and what you desire. Again, it's what your heart has been wishing for. With the Knight of Wands, this is telling me that you are going to move forward in passion and creativity. You have this beautiful red horse, which is just energy and passion with the red draped in. almost It's almost the color of a sunset here. Okay? And he's moving forward. He has his wand here. He has his armor on. 
and he's moving forward not at a full gallop like the knight of swords but at a steady canter and he knows where it is he's going he knows what it is he's doing he's prepared to make the sacrifices in order to see his passions come to life and this is fertility fulfillment seeing everything that you've worked for really come into play because this is the empress card she's sitting there on her throne with her torque around her neck her shield here the birds around her trust your intuition she's getting messages that little bird right on her shoulder she's getting messages she's moving forward with the horse right there she knows who it is that she is she knows where it is that she's going she's trusting in herself she isn't making excuses or cow dowing to anybody else she's an empress she knows her worth she knows her place in life and she's not letting anybody change that for her okay so be confident capricorn sun moon or ascendant because you are getting a message of cutting through any blockage that you might have that might be keeping you from getting what you wish for anything that's with the page of swords anything that you might be feeling like, oh my gosh, I have to defend myself again. I have to defend my passion and what I want again. With the Nine of Wands, you're getting what you wish for. So know that you are getting a message of full understanding, of full comprehension of what it is that you want and where it is that you're going. And you are going to be able to defend what it is you desire most. Again, this could be a love relationship. This could be passion coming into your life when you thought, oh my gosh, it's not going to come. It could be the creation of something that you have always wanted. It could be the starting of a business. It could be a vacation that you've always wanted to go on. And you feel here as if you're battered, you're bruised, you really need it, but you are going to find out that things aren't as bad as they seem, that you are moving forward in a way that is absolutely blessing you. This is the Ten of Cups. Your home life is blessed. Everything is falling into place. Everything you've wished for, everything you've desired. This is why I say some of you might be falling in love and creating that happy home. Some of you might be healing from past pains or past hurts. Some of you might have disconnect in the home. And you are going to find in the month of March that things are being able to be healed and things are being able to move forward in passion because you are cutting through your own doubts and your own fears and you both are connecting again on a deeper level. This could even be with the Three of Swords. This could be overcoming personal doubt and personal fear as if you don't want the world to see you anymore, as if you want to run away. You're not running away. Look at her. She's like... She's huddled in the fetal position. The sword looks like it's stabbing her back. Okay, everything's gray and sad. She even looks like she has a little scar on her face. She has no shoes. Her clothes are in rags. Here, this is sorrow. This is pain. This is really, this is loss. And some of you, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant might have felt like you would never have the family life that you want or that things would never heal the way that they were supposed to heal and have that beautiful love and that beautiful life that you have always imagined yourself having. Know that these doubts and these fears, they're no longer relevant. Acknowledge them. Understand that you are human. Life is secular. You have your ups and your downs. You can't be on a high all the time because then you wouldn't know that you were having and experiencing joy because it would just be every day. It would be modernity. I mean, it would just be mundane and just boring if you only knew happiness all the time. Sorrow is what makes happiness richer. It's like a, a dessert at the end of the meal. And I know that's an odd way to look at it, but it makes you appreciate it, achieving your goals more. So know that the sorrow or know that hiding away isn't going to help you. And you're not going to need to hide away anymore because March is all about you getting what you wish for. And again, where we had the Page of Cups here, we now have the Knight of Cups, the next stage. So in love, some of you may be falling even deeper in love. Okay, some of you may be coming 
even more passionate about what it is that you're doing, where it is that you're going, that business that you're opening, the vacation that you're going on, anything that is happiness to you. Even just finishing a project that you have been wanting to finish. Some of you are, no, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, you are achieving what it is that you love, and some of you are falling in love. And where you might have doubted the prosperity of your home, okay, the joy and the happiness, here it is showing me that at the end of March, there are no doubts, there are no fears. You have that prosperity here. Some of you may be even doubting that this prosperity will be coming, as if you feel, as if you're stuck in a, almost a state of poverty and lack. That's changing to a state of wealth and prosperity. Again, be prudent with your time. Be discerning with what you give to others because you need this prosperity in your life in order to make you feel secure and safe. You need to follow what it is that you love, okay? Because he's moving forward. It's not a run, he's walking through the water. He's making himself known, making himself understood, okay? He's on his horse. He has no weapon but a chalice. This isn't anything that can be achieved through force. This is all achieved through love, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Everything this month is achieved through following your heart's desire and through love and understanding. And that's bringing with you, to you, financial prosperity, moving forward in financial prosperity and taking all the lessons that you have learned and moving away from maybe one place that you once felt was safe and secure and taking those lessons, leaving behind what you don't need. There's even a sword on the ground here. And knowing that you are prepared for what's next, even though sometimes you feel as if it's all a bit too much. As if it's all too much. It isn't. You are getting what you wish for. That's how everything starts in March. And that's the message throughout all of March. You are getting what you wish for. Be prudent with your time. Be prudent with where you want to be and what you are doing. But know that you are getting a message of love and of achievement and of spiritual growth and understanding. You are going deeper inside yourself to achieve what it is that you want to achieve, to find that inner balance, that inner comprehension. You are moving forward in passion. You are able to defend what it is that you want. And because of that, nobody is going to be able to stop you. You are the Empress. You are bold. You are strong. You are prosperous. You are creating what it is that you want. Again, for some of you, this is love. This is falling in love. This is being deeply in love with your situation and where you are going. A message of cutting through any muck and mire that might be holding you back any reason that you feel as if the creativity that you have isn't allowing you, isn't moving forward in the way that you want it to, know also that sorrow fuels creativity. It gives it depth of emotion. And it gives you more empathy. Okay? The Buddha didn't understand suffering until he saw it because he lived shut up in a castle. You are moving forward in prosperity. You are taking your lessons. You are building a happy home. And you are letting go of the pain in the past. Or you are healing this home. Because your home is astoundingly important to you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. So in March, if you need to talk to somebody in order to make things right, talk to that person. Communicate, open up, and see your life start to heal. See your home start to heal. Because the month ends moving forward in love and having that home life, that place where you hang your hat, be secure and prosperous and bountiful. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, I hope you have resonated with this reading. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to book a private reading, all that information will be below. I wish you a wonderfully happy St. Patrick's Day, and all the best in the world. Bye.